guys, um, it's Salty Reef <laughs> Babes. Um, I'm Alexis. And I'm Mackenzie. Um, this video is our first video. It's pretty much just going to be an introduction on the tanks. Um, we have a 55-gallon uh, mixed wreath currently and a 32-gallon bio cube. Um, this video is just going to be like what we have inside of it, a fish, coral, um, also like the equipment that we have running. Um, we really don't use like a ton of equipment, um, you know, like basic skimmer, lights, heater, flow, pumps, stuff like that. Um, so stay tuned to, uh, see what we got. Um, yeah. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Thanks. Here we have the 55 gallon. I'm going to show you guys the light real quick. Um, I run a Finex 24-7 marine light. Nothing special. I don't keep it on the 24-7 setting because it stays on way too long. It's like it comes on at like 4 a.m. and stays on till like midnight. It's ridiculous. So I turn it on around 10 a.m., turn it off around 10 p.m. Um, that light is way too bright. Don't want to bleach my curls. Um, I definitely need an upgrade soon. So I'll be looking at lights here soon. Here we have our new frag rack. There's not much on it right now, as you can see. Definitely need to fill that baby up here soon. Here I run a high door. Pretty sure it's a 2,500 gallon pump. Does a pretty good job with the flow. I also run a fluval heater, as you see here. And on the other side, right below my output from my filter, is a small high door pump head. And my mag float that I like to scrape the sides with. I don't get much algae, though. Here I have a Sun Sun. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's a 2,500 gallon also. Input, output, nothing really fancy. It does do the job quite well. Um, I usually take it apart and clean some of it every two months, three months. Here I have my protein skimmer. Um, I put that on every week. I let it run for a couple hours. Same day I do my water changes. Nothing special. Not sure what kind of brand that is at the moment. On this side, I just keep a bunch of like random supplies for the filter, some uh, bio material and stuff. So yeah, I definitely don't run anything special on my 55 gallon. I don't even dose um, with anything. I just do the natural salt. Here we have our skunk cleaner shrimp. His name's Pierre, as most of you know, if you follow our Instagram. We also have a yellow tang in the 55 right now. He's really small. He's only about two inches. His name's Bus. Not the most clever name, but, you know, it's kind of unique. He's super cute. He eats really well. We love this torch. We need more. Um, not really sure why we haven't gotten more torches, but we're definitely looking at getting more soon. Here we have, not really sure what it's called actually, it has torch heads, it has hammer heads, it's definitely bleached. I'm working on getting its color back, you can see kind of it's getting pink. You can see it better even in this shot that it's starting to get pink. This is our crypto though, super excited that this is starting to grow more heads. The one down at the bottom even split recently, we only got it the other day. This is our frog spawn. It's super awesome. We love the colors in it. The colors are so bright. Our pink mushroom is to die for, honestly. The colors are so vibrant and bright. The one behind it even is so bright. This is our toadstool leathers. The one down at the bottom is not been happy the last couple days. Um, pretty sure it's because this big one's overshadowing it, but 
for the last couple of months it's been overshadowing it and it's done really well so not really sure what's been going on with it the last couple of days here I'm kind of thinking this is a redactus mushroom. I'm not too sure about it. If y'all could leave a comment down at the bottom, that'd be great. Let me know what you guys think it is. This is our GSP. Nothing too special. Um, it's grown like a weed. We love it, though. We want it to spread like crazy. This is our little acan head. It has so many little heads growing underneath it. Super excited for this guy to get bigger and more plump. I'm just showing you guys the lid to the bio cube real quick. It's custom made. It doesn't go all the way back. It does not cover the filtration system. It's about a centimeter thick. It's pretty cool. And here we have the 32 gallon bio cube. Here's some rostozoas we picked up from the local fish store the other day. Super excited to watch these guys spread on this rock. That's just some purple and blue mushrooms we took over from the 55 gallon. I'm about to zoom in on this tiny little purple blue spotted mushroom. This guy's a blue spotted mushroom too. He's pretty upset. We just recently glued him to the rock. I'm going to give him a day or so to perk back up and get all happy again. Not too sure what these guys are. We picked these up from the guy who gave us the cube. Super excited about these guys. If you guys want to let us know down in the comment what these guys are, that would be so awesome. We're really liking them so far. Hoping they grow fast. Here we have some Xenia on top of the skull. Excited to get this guy some hair finally. This is just a Kenya frag we took from the 55 gallon. Not too sure what these guys are. We picked these up from the local fish store also. You guys can let us know what these guys are down at the comments. We moved Morticia and Gomez over from the 55 gallon because our lawnmower Blenny, Lenny was bullying them for a while. And they're definitely enjoying the alone time here. Hoping maybe that they'll breed in this tank. The back of this tank has a ton of calcium, but we're keeping it because, you know, it adds character. I'm going to show the light here real quick. It's a Finex 24-7 marine light. It's exactly the same as the 55-gallon, but just smaller, obviously. This light runs on the same time schedule as the 55-gallon, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I also do this one manually because it also stays on too long. For it and I don't want algae to be growing. We are really excited to have this tank. We got this tank from a local reefer who is giving it away at a really awesome deal. We couldn't help ourselves, so we had to bring it home. It's gonna look really great, packed full of corals in the living room. It's gonna be a really awesome centerpiece for everybody to talk about when we have guests over. Here I'm just bringing the light forward so I can show you guys the filtration system. It's a bio cube, so it is on the back of it. I just have some bio media balls, which are doing a really great job of growing all the great bacteria they need to grow. Here I just have the output for the filtration system. I also have just a small little power head here. Um, there's some sponge here for the filtration system. I also keep my heater back here doing a really good job at keeping the tank at a nice little 77 degrees. I also have a tiny little mag float I use to scrape the sides. So yeah, there's nothing too fancy running on the BioCube. I do have a nano protein skimmer that the guy who sold it to us gave us part of our deal. It's about 13 inches long. It's about two inches wide. We haven't used it yet, but we're super excited to put it together and try it out on it. We'll let you know how it works. Thanks for checking out our video, guys. We know it's just the first video. <laughs> we're going to be working on, like, new camera and lights and all that. Phone. Yeah, it's pretty basic. So check out our next video we're going to be working on. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.